you guys. So today, yes, it has, it has arrived. Quint is finally here. Um, I ordered this a little while ago. It's taken a few weeks to get here, but he has finally arrived. He has taken a while to generally get released, but anyway. Um, this is Jaws Quint Shark Battle. You can see in there. Jaws Quint Shark Battle. Nice artwork on the back of him. Um, includes hat, bandana, machete, beer can, a poon gun, rifle and interchangeable hands. Yes, it's looking good so far. Jaws on the top there and all the usual stuff on the bottom there, the legalese and the barcodes and stuff. And the TNT, the toy company. That Now I, I will admit right here, right now, I ordered this from AliExpress. So yeah. But it has taken a while to get here, but I think, again, like the purchaser I did a while ago, I got it early. I think I got it early. Um, as you will know, Jaws is one of my all-time favourite movies. Um, it really is my, you know, Sunday afternoon go-to movie. You know, bit of free time, what shall I watch? Jaws. So, yeah. Only problem with this is, I'm going to need a bigger shelf. <laughs> Right, let's see then. So, should we get him out of the box? Why not? All right, so it has the sellotape on the top there. It is a round sellotape. Ah, there. While we are doing this, let me just say, if you are new to the channel and you're new here, welcome. Please hit the like, shares and subscribe button, particularly the subscribe button because that really, really helps the channel. Jaws Quint Shark Battle. I am saving up for a, a big shark, so more views the merrier, the more you view the quicker I'll be able to buy my shark. Yeah, that's that's my aim in life, to buy a shark. It's a one of six shark. Yeah, so we have a selection of hands. Only one different one with a glove. Um, two open hands, two, two human hands should I say, not gloved hands. One crushed beer can, one regular beer can, his head bandana, baseball bat, machete, rifle, which somebody will tell me what that rifle is, and spear gun. So yes, he has got a plethora of extras. Now he is held in with little plastic ties, so we shall... Are we all ready for this? I'm gonna need some sharper scissors. Just give me a second. <laughs> I must have the bluntest pair of scissors. Actually, I think the blunt, because I got super glue on the other day, and don't even get me started where I got super good on, but anyway. There we go. We have got through all the... There is a packet of silica gel at the back there. There is also some plastic keeping his hat on. Just chuck them all over there. Right, just put that out of the way. It's got his sunbonnet on. Just take that off and go over there. Right, so his feet are a little bit out of thing, but we can... Feels a little stiff now. Remember, this is a necker figure, so we have to be slightly careful with them through the first movement of joints because that's what necker figures are like. Okay, so far, yep, right. Get rid of some of the fluff off of that. Wow, that is reasonably impressive. Let's stand in more of a, a standing pose. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Let's turn that a little bit. So, uh, let's have a look at the close up of the face. There's a bit of fluff on that. There it is. I think that is a very good likeness. The eyes are pretty good. Let's do an even closer up. There we go. Here's to swimming with bow legged women. Farewell and adieu to you, fair Spanish ladies. That comes off. Oh, okay. The hair's a bit strange underneath that. That does look a bit odd. But then I guess that's what the, because the, I think the part when he's got the bandana on is when his hair's sort of wet. So the bandana kind of hides. That needs warming up a little bit. Ah, there you go, because it goes like that. Right. So that's him with the bandana on. Which looks okay. I think my version will probably be keeping the hat on. The hat is rubber as you can see, and smooth in there. 
Now the outfit is, oh it's Velcro there, so the outfit is removable. I have to work on that to get that Velcro so you can't see it quite as much. There we go, that's a bit better. Right, the jacket has the Quint badge on there, his military jacket. It isn't lined or anything, it is reasonably thick though, it feels sturdy. Nothing on the back. The shoes, pretty similar. You do see his shoes quite a bit when he's walking down the edge of the things in the film. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of weird that that head. I want to put the hat back on. There, that looks better. It does look better. I will, I will be honest. That looks weird. Like his head. I think it's because the hair flicks out. But yeah, that does look rather strange. Mm. Right, put the hat back on. There we go. So yeah, let's have a look at articulation. Let's do articulation while we're here. So he's got a little bit of tilt forward, quite a lot back, a little bit either side, and obviously all the way around. Um, arms up to there, usual articulation in there. Don't want to go too, because obviously the clothes are going to stop it, but it's the usual articulation. Yep, in there. Elbow all the way to there. The wrist is does have a pivot in it, as you can see there, but doesn't pivot much. Um, articulation in the middle. I'm having a feel around. There is there is a bit somewhere around there. Oops, that's come off again. There we go. Tell you what, because <laughs> it's Velcro. So yeah, ladies. Um, yeah, he has articulation in the middle there, and there. There is no. Doesn't feel to be any. In his hips, though. Legs up, legs down. Out of that way, there is a click in there. Oh, oh that felt nervous then. Okay, knees to about there. Not a butt kicker, and the ankle has got. Yeah, the usual articulation. I won't hang on that because you know what these are like. The knees do feel like they go, does kind of go, let's see if we can get the forward a bit. Which seems weird, but that seems to be a thing on a lot of action figures these days. They have like forward facing knees. Yeah. So let's. Put that back on. Right. Let's have a look at. I like that. That is looking good. I just want to get him to stand. And you know what? It's like with necker figures. You don't want to. You don't want to sort of rag around on them until you've got to kind of wear them in. So let's take that out. So we have, it is kind of sad that it is just a sticker around the beer cans. You would have thought they could have, let's see if we can get that to focus. And it does say necker on it as well. You would have thought they could have maybe you know, not done it with a sticker, just printed it on like a plastic can. But hmm. there's also a crushed can there as well, which is also a sticker, which they've stuck on and then pushed into place. Like I say, it does say Necker on it as well. Um, a baseball bat, which is quite a bit of weight to it, actually. Quite a nice wood effect on that. Then we have machete. Uh, is a proper machete. Oh. We also have. If I can get this out of here. Without that. Uh, what did I do with the scissors? Oh, scissors are there. There's a bit of cell tape holding the rifle in, which is good. It means it doesn't fall out of the pocket. So there is the rifle, no working parts on it, just a basic rifle. And the spear gun, no working parts on that either, just a spear gun. Um, I suppose looking at that hand, he is kind of 
I'm trying to think which version of it I want to go for. Oh, those hands are, let me just do it over it because the hands are a bit stiff. The hands are very stiff. No, I'm not even going to force that in there. I'm going to just stick for now that in there. Which, which would you put him with? Which weapon would you put him in there with? As you can see, he has a gripping hand that said, sort of a, a rifle hand on that side. And in the other hands in the packet, he has um, that which is a sort of grippy hand for the other side. That which is, again, a rifle holding hand or a, you know, gun holding hand. A beer can holding hand. And uh, whatever that is. I might say what that is. Hmm. What do you use that for? I'm sure it's a... I suppose you could... Which one is it, that one? You could use it as a... Beer can crushing hand. Yeah, beer can crushing. Try saying that fast three times with your teething. Beer can crushing hand. I think I deserve a subscription for that, or at least a like for trying to say beer can crushing hand. Um, yeah, so I think that is a great figure. I am so impressed. It is a shame that we're not getting the Chief Brody, and I'm not sure why they weren't making, you know, the, the full crew. Yeah? Brody would have been nice. Um, yeah, it's a shame. If it had been as good as this. And also, does anybody out there know if they are actually making the shark? Because I have heard rumour that we are getting a shark. If it's a shark of this size, it's going to be quite big. You see, that's the problem, because I'm looking at this one to six scale shark, which I'd have to, it's a Bruce, I'd have to paint up and build. And it is quite expensive, but then Necker say they're going to make one, so I'm like, do I, do I buy that or do I buy, wait and see what Necker's got? It's, oh, so yeah. But that is, I think that is a great figure. Definitely worth the money. Like I say, I did get this from AliExpress. Um, so that's probably why I may have got this a little early. Yeah, I'll put a link at the bottom to where I got it from. But probably by the time you've got around to it, they'll be available in the shops over here. But still, it's always difficult to find these figures in the UK. I mean, we do get them, but they sell out pretty quick. You know, they sell out as pre-orders. So we have to get them where we can get them. Uh -huh. So yeah, that is it. I have been looking forward to this for so long. Being a Jaws fan, that is just, I'm just looking at that and it just looks so much like him. That is just such a great, a great face. That face, it's brilliant. That is Robert Shaw. Wow. So yeah, so thanks guys for watching. Um, if you've got this far and you've enjoyed the video and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It's a big help to the channel. Let's me, lets me know that these are things you want to see. Yeah. Um, if if you are already a subscriber, please hit the like button. That also helps the channel. You know, the channel needs all the help it can get. That's all YouTubers ever want is subscriptions and and likes. It just means that we, we feel you care. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I should go out on a song. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu, you ladies of Spain. Thank you for watching, have a great day, a great night, and I'll see you all in the next video. Here's to swimming with bow-legged women.